going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931 201 9098 so we can help you make the switch today. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CMB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CMB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNB Linen. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers, and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Archburg, Tennessee. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. Care keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and the air so I don't have to. Arctic Air. When you need us, we'll be there. Financial advisor Scott Beasley knows time spent with family is everything. As a founder of Beasley Wealth Management, his mission is to give clients the freedom to enjoy time with family without the burden of financial concerns. A local of Lawrenceburg, Scott deeply values building relationships with clients, ensuring they make informed decisions concerning asset management, tax planning, and retirement planning. Offering a free initial consultation, Beasley Wealth Management helps clients pursue their aspirations with confidence. Do you have a small farm, a big farm, or just critters in the backyard to feed? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to make the short drive down to a &B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee today. Owner and operator Jamie Ayers has you covered and will treat you right. That's a &B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee.
got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender, major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. I'm Mike Keith, and my friends at Elliott Johnson Insurance have a great partner in Auto Owners Insurance. Auto Owners makes it easy to get life, home, car, or business insurance. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Employee Resources Credit Union is an easy solution to banking, offering a personal, simple, yet modern way to bank. When you bank with ERCU, you are a shareholder, meaning you own a piece of the pie. And we make it easy with the convenience of digital banking, with service you won't find at another financial institution, including low to zero fees and incredible rates. We have the technology you need with the personal service you deserve, right here in your own neighborhood. Employee Resources Credit Union. Not for profit, for service. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Ink for the look you want and the look you deserve. If you're stuck, then you're in luck. Call Tower McDowell with in-service towing 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in-service offers full-service towing and recovery services as well as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family-owned, family-operated. When you need a hand, call in-service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit in-service specialties. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gain Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life. Accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize to meet every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, 
luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring and More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com. This is the X Sports Network. And welcome everybody here to Tom Cruise Field, the site for tonight's TSSAA Class 3A Region 4 District 8 doubleheader here between the visiting Bobcats of Giles County and the home squad in yellow, the Wildcats of Lawrence County. This is AJ Good here on the X Sports Network. Dusty Kaiser will be joining me here shortly. One of two here between the two today, moving up their game from Pulaski tomorrow. Moving that up a day due to the threat of weather. Taking a look quickly at both sides, starting first with Giles County coming in at 3-5 and five overall. Their head coach is Dustin Hill. Lawrence County 8-1 overall. Their head coach is Clint Wright. Starting lineup for Giles County, leading off and catching Austin Kilpatrick. Batting second, the designated hitter, Levi Moss. Batting third and pitching, Carter Kelly. Batting fourth at third base, Red Hayes. Batting at fifth at shortstop, Kimari Turner. Batting sixth at first base, Maddox Good. Batting seventh and center, Kareem Bryant. Batting eighth in right field, Kaysen Howard, and rounding up the lineup at second base is Hudson Nivens. For Lawrence County, leading off at shortstop, Jack Emerson. Batting second in center field, Alex Bedford. Batting third in pitching, Isaiah Bentley. Batting fourth, a designated hitter, Truett Kidd. Batting fifth at first base, T.J. Gobble. Batting sixth at second base, Gavin Glass. Batting seventh at third base, Cole Schultz. Batting eighth and catching, Cutler Cope. And rounding up the lineup in left field will be Kaysen Smith. Isaiah Benley is off to a great start so far this season. He's now had nine consecutive shutout innings, including seven in a one to nothing win against Loretto a week ago at Loretto, then pitched two scoreless innings against the Rocket City Rockets. That was on Saturday night in Huntsville, Alabama. First district game of the season, Lawrence County looking for their first district win in over two, two years. Didn't win a district game at all last year and trying to get off on the right track here tonight. Again, it's a doubleheader at the first one, actually getting going at just a handful of minutes early. First pitch here from Bentley, misses low for ball one. Kilpatrick, a well-known name. A lot of people when it comes to baseball here around the area. Next pitch, that one misses low for ball two. Bentley likes to work fast for Lawrence County, going up against a very good pitcher on the other side and Carter Kelly. Next pitch, check swing, laid off in time for ball three. Comes a 3-0. And that one is ball four. And the first base runner is aboard here for the Bobcats on a four-pitch walk. Brings up Levi Moss, a designated hitter. It's a side from his head coach and Dustin Hill with Kilpatrick on first. Decent lead by Kilpatrick at first. Bentley will throw over and is not in time. Moss, a right-handed hitter. Again, another big lead by Kilpatrick at first. And the first pitch misses in for ball one. One another count here to Moss. Check on Kilpatrick at first again, not in time. Here's the one up. That one's on the inside corner for strike one. One and one to count the 2-0 hitter. Win really whipping out here at Tom Cruise Field and straight out to left. Here's a 1-1. One -one. 
Runner takes off. It's in there for a strike. The throw will not be in time. So the count is one and two. Runner on second base here for the Bobcats. And the one, two. Breaking ball on the outside corner for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. So after five uh, straight balls, Isaiah Bentley comes back and strikes out Levi Moss. Brings up the opposing pitcher in Carter Kelly. Up with one out and the runner on second base here in the top of the first. First pitch from Bentley. This is high for ball one. Bentley now steps off the rubber. Wind starting to pick up again. Here's the one up. Ground ball here to Schultz at third. Checks the runner. Throws over to first. It's in time. Kilpatrick will make his way to third, but we've got two gone here in the top of the first inning. Good play by Cole Schultz. Runner does advance on the play. Two gone will now bring up Red Hayes, the third baseman. Infield playing straight away. Outfield a little bit shaded to the left. First pitch, breaking ball. Stays off that one as it is low for ball one. Here's a one up. This is away for ball two. Hayes and Kelly, probably the two most complete hitters in the Bobcat lineup. This one, sending the center field, Bedford, charging in on it, makes the catch, and that one will end the inning. The Bobcats strand one here on the top of the first. No score as we go to the bottom half. It's coming up next on the Exports Network. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County, providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gaines Street next to the courthouse. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PO company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you as an employee a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at Livingstone fs.com or give us a call at 931-269-3255. Oliver Wellness and Massage, located in Pulaski, Tennessee, is your premier spa for massage therapy, salt therapy, IV therapy, tanning, and much more. Stay relaxed, look your best, and feel good at Oliver Wellness, located at 1187 West College Street, Pulaski, Tennessee, or contact Haley at 931-309-0462 or schedule your appointment online at 931 massage.com Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. 
From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. And back here at Tom Cruise Field as we go to the bottom of the first. No score here is Lawrence County since the top of the order here against Carter Kelly. Kelly, the left-handed pitcher, his first pitch here to the freshman and Jack Emerson is fouled back. A bunt attempt for strike one. Kelly, who'll be playing his college ball at the University of Georgia. A very good left-handed pitcher. Once you watch him, you'll realize why this man is so highly touted. Here's the 0-1. Ground ball, sent over to second. Throw over to first is in time, and that will be the first out of the inning. One gone here in the bottom of the first will now bring up the center fielder and Alex Bedford. Bedford really coming on strong here the last few games. Had a great game against Wilson. Turned it around to a good game against Mount Pleasant, an even better game against Rocket City Rockets. First to bat here from Kelly, first pitch. Fastball misses away for ball one. Here's the one up. This is high and away for ball two. And here comes the two up. This is low for ball three. Bedford might be laying off of this one with the 3 0 count. 3 0 from Kelly. And oh, he was swinging on that one and missed for strike one. Still a hitter's count here for Bedford. So 3-1 on the outside corner for strike two. Full count here as Kelly has come back from 3-0. And the full count offer on the outside corner for strike three, and that will be the second out of the inning. Two gone here in the bottom of the first, and I'll bring up the opposing pitcher in Isaiah Bedley. Bentley has had a great season so far for the Wildcats, hitting just a hair under 500. Facing Kelly for the first time. First pitch. That one misses away for ball one. Comes the one up. And he'll send this one in the right field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Two out, single to right for Isaiah Bentley. Now brings up the designated hitter and true a kid. Good piece of hitting there by Bentley, putting the barrel on the ball, shooting it in the right field. Kid who's really played really well here in the last few games. Hitting over 400 so far on the year. Chance here for a two out rally in the bottom of the first. First pitch from Kelly. Swung on a miss for strike one. Kelly has all kinds of action and life on all of his pitches. Here's the 0 1. Kid will foul that one away and count down. No balls and two strikes. The 0-2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end the inning. We go to the uh, top of the second inning. No score here between Giles County and Lawrence County. It's coming up next here on the X Sports Network. 
Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience in our family owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary care by One Stop Medical at its best. Back here at Tom Cruise Field, we go to the top of the second no score here between Lawrence County and Giles County. Kamari Turner here at the plate takes a first pitch strike here from Isaiah Bentley. Bentley in the first sitting, no hits, no runs, a walk and a strikeout, sitting now 14 pitches. And pitch number 15 sails over the head of Turner to even up the count of one ball, one strike. Isaiah Bentley is effectively wild. Not everything is going to be in the zone. Sometimes it will just fly out the wrong way. 1-1, one, one, just misses away for ball two. Two of them on the count here to Turner. Very good basketball player, very good football player. This guy can do it all at Giles County. Ground ball here to Schultz at third. Throw over to first is in time, and that will be the first out in the inning. Two gone. Excuse me, just one gone here in the top of the second. Brings up Maddox Good, the first baseman. No relation. Get another right-handed hitter here in the lineup. First pitch from Bentley. On the outside corner for strike one. Comes the 0-1. This is high and away for ball one. One one offering from Bentley. Just misses low for ball two. Comes the two one. And this is a line drive over the head of glass into right field. And the first hit of the day here for Giles County comes from Maddox Good. Brings up the center fielder in Kareem Bryant. One gone here in the top of the second. Ryan, a starter on the Bobcat basketball team. And center here for the Bobcats. Good on first. One gone here in the top of the second. Not a big lead by Good at first. First pitch. And that one's in there for strike one. Checks over on good at first. Throws not in time. DJ Gobble having some fun over there at first base between the two. Here's the 0-1. That one is fouled. We'll go to no balls and two strikes. And a 
try to catch good off guard. Throws not in time. Here's the 0-2. Just misses away for ball one. And the one two. Breaking ball, and Bryant just gets enough to foul it away to keep the count on one ball and two strikes. Fooled on that one from Bentley and got enough of it to stay alive. And the one two. Off of the handles. Glass makes a play, throws over to first in time, and that one. We'll end the inning. A double play will end things for the Bobcats here in the top of the second. We head to the bottom half of the inning. No score coming up next on the Exports Network. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals. Owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. Hey guys, I'm Kyle Hammock, general manager here at Heritage Automotive. Your Chevy, GMC dealer in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. I am from Marshall County, Tennessee, where I went to Cornersville High School. Uh, I attended Cumberland University. Um, after Cumberland, I went into the United States Marine Corps to serve the country. After that, I went right back into the car business. I'm very familiar with the car business. I have been around the car business pretty much my entire life. And my commitment to you is to ensure the most competitive new and used vehicle pricing on the market as well as the best service around. Well, we'll treat you like family here at Heritage Automotive in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. This is the X Sports Network.
mics there and Nobody was there at first, and Glass is going to come up with the infield single. A great job by Gavin Glass to get the butt down, and now we got runners on the corners and nobody gone here in the bottom of the second. Second baseman in Nivens just did not cover the bag. Now brings up Cole Schultz here. Good opportunity for the Wildcats to put multiple runs on the board. Runners on the corners, nobody out in the bottom of the second. First pitch from Kelly. Runner takes off. No throw, and that pitch is in there for strike one. Now runners on second and third. Here's the 0-1 in there for strike two. Infield pretty much playing normal. Corner infield are playing even with the bags. Here's the 0-2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. Third strike out of the game for Kelly. Now brings up Cutler Cope, the catcher. Cope is... Starting to break out of things here for the Wildcats in the last couple games. Trying to continue that here. Now the infield playing in for the Bobcats. First pitch misses away for ball one. Comes a one up. That one misses away for ball two. Both Wildcats on the bags, really dancing around there, trying to distract Kelly. Case and Smith awaiting on deck. So 2 0. Misses away for ball three. Here's a 3 0. This is away for ball four. It's a four-pitch walk, second one issued in the inning, and now the bases are loaded. One gone here in the bottom of the second. Caden Smith, the courtesy runner, will come into the game for Cutler Cope. Now brings up Case and Smith. Smith has had a great season at the plate so far, hitting over 400 for the Wildcats. Really kind of served as that second leadoff batter here for the Wildcats this season. Chance to make some noise here at the bases loaded. First pitch from Kelly. Misses away for ball one. Here's the one up. Breaking ball, nice breaking ball in there for strike one. Here's a 1-1. Another breaking ball in there for strike two. And the 1-2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that will be the second out of the inning. Fourth strike out of the game, second strike out of the inning. And we got two gone here in the bottom of the second. Brings up the top of the order in Jack Emerson. Grounded out the second in his first at bat. Lead off the bottom of the first. Emerson, the freshman, off to a great start here in his career. First pitch misses away for ball one. Here's a one up. In the dirt. And Kilpatrick blocks it for ball two.
Comes a 2-0. And Emerson sends this one down the right field line. Good giving chase to it and just out of reach. And the ball, excuse me, the count. Now go to two balls and one strike. Now Maddox Good have just got it way back to first base and had the his cap fly off his head as well. Emerson calls time. Two and one the count. Base is loaded. Two gone here in the bottom of the second. There's a two one pitch from Kelly. This is high for ball three. Hitters count here for Emerson. And the three one. Emerson, a ground ball to second. Scooped up by Nivens. Throw over to first in time, and that one will end the inning. Wildcats strand the bases loaded here in the bottom of the second. We will go to the top of the third. No score coming up next on the Exports Network. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today, 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf, and this is Hustler Country. This is the X Sports Network. Back here at Tom Cruiseville to go to the top of the third here. No score between Lawrence County and Giles County. Case and Howard to lead things off here. Swings at a first pitch breaking ball from Isaiah Bentley and misses for strike one. Bentley threw two innings, one hit, no runs, a walk, a strikeout. Now at 27 pitches. Here's the 0-1. And that one's in there for strike two. Wildcats had the bases loaded one out in the previous inning and couldn't push a run across. It's a very tough Carter Kelly on the other side of the Georgia commit. Here's the 0-2. Breaking ball on the inside corner for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. A three-pitch strikeout for Bindley. It is his second strikeout of the game. Brings up the second baseman in Hudson Nivens. Nivens has made a couple nice plays in the field so far in this game for Giles County. First pitch from Bindley. Breaking ball in the inside corner for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Swung on a miss, the fastball for strike two. Here's the 0-2. That's a fastball, misses away for ball one. And the one two misses in, and the count evens up at two balls and two strikes. And the two two breaking ball just misses as the count goes full at three balls and two strikes. Bentley doesn't want to lose a nine hole hitter, especially after he had him down 0 2. Full count offer. 
This one is lined in the left field, a base hit. So the nine-hole hitter gets on with the line drive in the left. Now brings up the top of the order with Austin Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick walked in his first at bat. In the top of the first inning was left on base. One on one gone here in the top of the third. No score in this district. Game one of this doubleheader tonight. First pitch from Bentley. And that's a double down the left field line. This one's going to roll to the wall. Smith tracks it. Nivens rounding third. No relay. He will score. And Giles County leads it one to nothing off the one out double from Austin Kilpatrick. Bring up Levi Moss, a designated hitter. First pitch here from Bentley. That one misses away for ball one. Color Cup will now go out and talk here with his senior starting pitcher. Try to calm him down and get things squared away here. Here's the one up. Swung on a miss for strike one. And the one one. Breaking ball over his head for ball two. Here's a 2-1. This one is fouled out of play. Evens up the count at two balls and two strikes. Here's a 2-2. Ground ball tapped up the middle. Emerson at short scoops it up, throws over to first in time. Kilpatrick will move his way to third. We've got two gone here in the top of the third inning. Brings up Carter Kelly, the opposing pitcher. Kelly grounded out the third in his first at bat, and he's going to get intentionally walked here on the play. Brings up Red Hayes. Now we got runners on the corners and two gone. First pitch from Bentley. This is high for ball one. Here's a one up. Kelly takes off, throw to second. Emerson cuts it off, and now we got runners in second and third. 1-1 one, one count, two gone here in the top of the third. Next pitch, this one hit high in the air. Gobble trying to charge in on it, and the wind pulled a lot of tricks on that one. He thought it had more velocity than it did, and it falls in for strike two. And Bentley going to catch Kilpatrick off the bag and got him. A great job by Isaiah Bentley there with the pickoff, and that one will end the inning. Go to the bottom of the third. Giles County leading this one one to nothing. That's coming up next on the Exports Network.
There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available on the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Don't just find a job, find a career with Resource MFG. The team at Resource MFG in Lawrenceburg has the resources and experience to find you a full or part-time position right away. Now recruiting for open positions in Lawrence, Giles, and Murray counties. Whether you're entering the workforce for the first time or looking to take your career to the next level, let your journey begin with Resource MFG. Located at 300 Ellingson Street in Lawrenceburg, phone 931-570-2111 to jumpstart your career today. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602. Southern Tennessee Orthopedics welcomes orthopedic surgeon Dr. Paul Thomas. Count on Dr. Paul Thomas, podiatrist Dr. James Barksdale, and nurse practitioner Doug Eid at Southern Tennessee Orthopedics to keep your life in motion. Injuries and foot pain can rob you of the activities you enjoy most, so our team is here, close to home, to address the pain and to get you moving again. Southern Tennessee Orthopedics, from the routine to the unforeseen, you can count on us. To learn more, visit southerntennesseemedicalgroup.com or to schedule an appointment, call 931-762-4400. This is the X Sports Network. We go here to the bottom of the third, Giles County with a one to nothing lead over Lawrence County here in game one of this district doubleheader. Two, three, four, do up for the Wildcats. Alex Bedford will lead things off. First pitch, swung on a miss on that ball in the dirt for strike one. Kelly so far through two innings, two hits, no runs, two walks, four strikeouts, now at 37 pitches. Here's the 0-1. Breaking ball misses away for ball one. Kelly got out of a bases loaded one out jam in the bottom of the second. His team turned that momentum into a run in the top half of the third. Here's a 1-1. Misses in for ball two. Here's a 2-1. That one's in there, even up the count of two balls and two strikes. Here's a 2-2. Breaking ball over his head, and the count goes full with three balls and two strikes. Kelly just lost grip of that one a bit. It's a full count offering. And Bedford will foul that one away to keep it a full count. And the full count offering on the end. Oh, ball four. I thought he might have called that one strike three, but he calls it ball four. And the leadoff runner. Is ahead for the second straight inning for Lawrence County. Was a breaking ball, and that ball was certainly close, but could have gone either way, and it went the Wildcats' way there. Bentley has one of the two hits for the Wildcats in this one with a line drive in the right field with two outs in the bottom of the first. Now up with one on, nobody out here in the bottom of the third. First pitch from Kelly. That one's in the dirt for ball one. Kelly is a very tough pitcher. Again, in Playing his college ball at the University of Georgia. Bentley now calls time. Bedford heads back to first. Bedford takes off. 
Good. Throws. And that one's going to get away, and Bedford's going to get in the second base safely. Again, another good pickoff from Kelly, and it doesn't work out. Now we got a runner in scoring position for the Wildcats. Still 1-0 count here to Bentley. Base hit to either field, more than likely scores. Center field and Bryant's playing way in and center. Left fielder's playing in the left center field gap here. Next pitch, breaking ball misses high for ball two. Infield's playing pretty much normal. First baseman a good, protecting the line a little bit. Now we have a timeout here called by Bentley. Kelly was trying to work quickly there. Here's a 2-0. Bedford's going to take off. Throw to third. In time, and they got it. A very good throw there by Austin Kilpatrick. And Bedford is nabbed at third base. I believe that pitch was called a strike. Actually, it was called a ball 3-0. And then Bentley will work the walk. So right after that, Bentley goes right to first base after a, a walk. Now brings up True Kid, the designated hitter. Actually, the right fielder in this game struck out swinging. And his first to bat, that ended at the bottom of the first. One gone here in the bottom of the third. First pitch from Kelly. Kid. Chop someone foul down the left field line, and that will be strike one. Bentley not a big lead at first, not necessarily that he needs one. And they catch him off guard. Another pickoff from Kelly. Turner with it. Bentley dancing around. The throw, that one hits him in the back, and he's safe at first. And another good pickup by Carter Kelly that turns into absolutely nothing. Wildcats need to take advantage of some of these defensive issues here from the Bobcats. Here's the 0-1 to Kit, breaking ball in the dirt for ball one. Here's a 1-1, breaking ball in the outside corner for strike two. Kelly now with 50 pitches here through two and a third. And the one, two. Swung on a miss for strike three in the second out of the inning. Two gone brings up the first baseman in TJ Gobble. Strikeout number five on the night here for Carter Kelly. Runner on first, two gone. Giles County still with the one to nothing lead. First pitch here from Kelly, breaking ball in the dirt for ball one. Here's the one up. That one misses high for ball two.
trying to get Bentley over at first and throws not in time. When really whipping out towards left again. Now Kelly will step off the rubber wisely to see if some of this wind will die down a bit. Here's a 2-0. This is low for ball three. And the 3-0. That one's in there for strike one. And the 3-1. That one is hit high in the air. Kilpatrick giving chase, but that will foul. Go fly out of play, and the count will go full with three balls and two strikes. And the full count offer. And Gobble shoots this one down the left field line by hooking foul, and the count will stay full. And Kelly now working out of a windup, a breaking ball in there for strike three, and that one will end the inning. We'll go here to the top of the fourth inning. Giles County leading this one one to nothing. That's coming up next on the Exports Network. At Smith Tax and Business Service, we offer many services. Along with personal income tax prep, we also offer tax preparation for corporations and partnerships. If you're a small business and looking for some extra help, give us a shout and we'll get you fixed up. Call Mary Beth Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Pulaski Street, phone 931-244-6633. Are you tired of missing out on family life just to be treated like another truck number? Since 1986, Southeast Cares has been a family-operated business based in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Being family-owned ourselves, we understand the importance of family, which is why we value it above all else. With our large number of dedicated lanes and our friendly staff, we are able to evenly divide your home time with the amount of time you spend on the road. We offer multiple benefits with large company pay, all while keeping a small company environment. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Southern Craft Manufacturing is dedicated to creating the finest quality and greatest value products in the death care industry. Southern Craft has perfected blending old world craftsmanship with modern manufacturing technologies to create a full line of steel, wood, and corrugated caskets. Family owned and operated for over 30 years, Southern Craft is now looking to hire local and regional truck drivers, welders, and production workers, each with great starting pay and a benefits package. For more information, visit southerncraftmfg.com. This is the X Sports Network. And welcome back to Tom Cruise Fields. We go to the top of the fourth. Giles County leading Lawrence County in game one of this district doubleheader, one to nothing. Four, five, six, do up here for the Bobcats. Red Hayes will lead things off. 0 for 1 with the fly out the center. Who's left standing in the batter's box is Austin Kil Kilpatrick, excuse me, was picked off at third base, the end, the uh, top of the thir third inning. Fouls back the first pitch from Isaiah Bentley. Bentley threw three innings, a run off three hits, two walks, two strikeouts, now at 46 pitches. Here's the 0 1. Swung on a miss for strike two. Hayes, Kelly, and Kilpatrick, the most complete hitters of the bunch here for Giles County. Certainly can spread it to all fields. Next pitch. Breaking ball misses away for ball one. Here's 
Here's a one, two. And one misses high for ball two. And the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. Third strikeout of the game here for Bentley, and that brings up the shortstop and Kamari Turner. Grounded out the Cole Schultz over at third in his first at bat in the top of the second. Turner the do-everything three-sport star for the Bobcats. Star quarterback, star point guard, and now playing shortstop here on the baseball team. Takes the first pitch in the dirt for ball one. Here's the one up. This one is sent in the left field. Smith makes the catch out there and left, and that will be the second out of the inning. Turner put a good ride on it, but Smith playing the wind and playing everything makes a great catch out there and left. Brings up Maddox Good, the first baseman. Lined a single into right in his first at bat in the second inning. First pitch, swung on a miss for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Popped up in the air and out of play, and the count goes to no balls and two strikes. Bentley working quickly, the 0-2. Breaking ball down the middle for strike three, and that one will end at the inning. Three up, three down for the Bobcats here in the top of the fourth. They lead them one to nothing as we go to the bottom half of the inning next on the Exports Network. For the best at home care in Lawrence County, the Summit at Home is the right company for you. We have a friendly staff over 25 that is trained, educated, and qualified to help with all your needs within your household. Our non-medical services include transportation, housework, dressing, and companionship. We are also covered by most long-term care providers. For more information, please call 931-762-2310. You know, Story & Lee Furniture is not just some huge chain store, but we do have a 144,000 square foot showroom right here in Leoma, Tennessee. The Story family has worked together in the business for over 50 years now, and a familiar face is here to help you with whatever you need. That's what being a part of the community right here in the Tennessee Valley means. And if you have an issue, we're right here to take care of it. And don't forget free delivery. We invite you to come see us. We're Story & Lee Furniture. It's never too late to change your career or to go back to school. The decision to go back to school wasn't easy. Look at me, a wife, a mother, a degree in dental for 17 years. But here I am at LTC, studying towards a career in cosmetology, and it's been the best decision I have ever made. This is the X Sports Network. One to nothing, the Giles County leads. We go to the bottom of the fourth here. Do it for Lawrence County. Six, seven, eight. Gavin Glass will lead things off as one of the two Wildcat hits here with a bunt single. The bottom of the second inning. Carter Kelly here through three innings. Two hits, no runs, four walks, six strikeouts through 58 pitches. Third baseman playing a step or two in on the grass. First pitch from Kelly misses high for ball one. Turner playing normal at short. Second baseman, though, playing more towards the right center field gap. Glass swings and fouls that one away for strike one. One one from Kelly. In there for strike two. One, two from Kelly. Breaking ball in the dirt, evens up the count at two balls and two strikes. Glass has had a good start here to the season for Lawrence County. And the two, two. Sends this one over the second baseman's head for a base hit. So Glass two for two 
on the game. And for the third straight inning for Lawrence County, the leadoff batter has reached base. Brings up Cole Schultz here for Lawrence County. Struck out swinging his first to bat in the bottom of the second. Glass on first, nobody out here in the bottom of the fourth. one nothing Giles County lead. First pitch from Kelly. That one gets away. That misses. It's a wild pitch, and now Glass is standing on second base. Glass scored the lone run in a one nothing win against Loretto last Monday. Reached base on an infield single and found his way around off a couple errors and scored off a wild pitch. Here's the 1-0. Glass takes off. That's a bunt from Schultz, and that one goes foul. He strike one. Evens up the count of one ball, one strike. Glass is easily going to make his way to third on that play. Wind starting to pick up again, blowing hard out towards the left field foul pole. Bringing in that potential weather for tomorrow. In corner infield playing in. Here's a 1-1. And Schultz misses the bunt attempt for strike two. And the one, two. And Schultz gets a piece of that one and will foul it down the left field line. One ball, two strikes is the count still. That one is actually deflected off the wall into the field of play. And a bench player for Lawrence County having to go track it down. Kilpatrick, the catcher here for the Bobcats, going out to talk with the star pitcher in Kelly. Glass extends his lead at second. And now Kelly steps off. Lawrence County's won the balk on that play. Clint Wright having a discussion with the field umpire, and it's not going to result to anything. So one, two. And that one swung on a miss. Schultz is going to take off for first, and Schultz is going to get in there. Runners on the corners, nobody out. A drop third strike. Now Lawrence County in business here in the bottom of the fourth. Now brings up Cutler Coke. Walked in his first at bat in the bottom of the second. Runners on the corners here. Nobody out. A great chance here for Lawrence County. Bentley's done a good job on the opposing side of Trying to keep the Bobcat hitters at bay, and this is a good chance here for them. First pitch from Kelly, and Kelly, excuse me, Cope, lines one foul over the Giles County dugout. Schultz extending his lead at first. Here's the 0-1. This is high for ball one. Decent lead by Schultz at first. Here's the 0-1. Breaking ball on the outside corner for strike two. Kelly now at 71 pitches through three plus innings. Cope now calls timeout to get the play from his head coach.
and the one two. And Cope, a breaking ball, and he will foul that one just out of the reach of good over at first base. Cope staying alive here. Kelly, a long look at the sign. Schultz extending his lead at first. And Cope fouls off another pitch. Staying alive here. Schultz was taken off for second on the play. Timeout called by Cope again. And another one, too. Misses high. Schultz will take off for second base and get in there. Now runners on second and third. Two gone. Excuse me, nobody out here in the bottom of the fourth. That was the sixth pitch of the at bat. Here comes number seven. Misses away for ball three, and the count goes full. The full count offer. Misses away for ball four, and Cope works a walk off of eight pitches there, and now the bases are loaded with nobody out here in the bottom of the fourth. That brings up the nine-hole hitter in Cason Smith. Caden Smith will now go run for Cope, who's worked his second walk. Smith struck out swinging his first to bat in the second inning. Infield now playing in here for Giles County. Do have a... Everyone playing on the grass. Niven's playing a little bit more towards right field, so there is a more sizable gap up the middle. Now Dustin Hill, the head coach here for Giles County, will make his way out to the mound here to talk with his star pitcher and the rest of the infield. Obviously a big situation here. They're trying to protect a one to nothing lead here with the bases loaded and nobody out. Right after this is the top of the order with Emerson and Bedford waiting. Smith can find a way to put a ball out of the re out of reach of the Bobcat defense. This will break a wide open inning here for Lawrence County. Kelly's already worked out of one bases loaded jam in this game. Has had a, allowed a base runner in every inning so far. Right now it's 76 pitches. Smith again, who's had a pretty good start to the season. Hitting over 400 coming into this game. And infield playing in. Everybody on the grass. Kelly out of the windup. First pitch on the outside corner for strike one. The 0 1. Misses away and high for ball one. And the 1-1. One, one. In the dirt, a good block by Kilpatrick. Two balls and one strike. And that kept it a one nothing game. Here's a 2-1. And Smith will foul that one away to even up the count of two balls and two strikes. Comes a 2-2. Low, and the count goes full at three balls and two strikes. A full count offering off of the bat of Smith, and he will stay alive with a full count. That's pitch number six of the at-bat. Cope worked to walk off eight pitches in the previous at-bat. He's now sitting at 82 pitches. 
Another full count offering. Up the middle. And that one's going to get through for a base hit. One run is in. Here comes Schultz. The relay, not in time. The Wildcats lead it 2-1. to one. Kaysen Smith, a two-run single, and it's a 2-1 to one Wildcat lead. He just had to do enough to get it up the middle, and he did just out of the reach of Nivens. Still nobody gone here in the bottom of the fourth. Now brings up Jack Emerson in the top of the order. Emerson with a pair of ground outs to second in the first and second inning. First pitch here from Kelly. Emerson bunts it, but foul. And it's a no ball, one strike situation. A one from Kelly, and that one got blocked by Kilpatrick, and Emerson got the bat back in time to make it a 1-1 count. Runners on first and second. Nobody gone. Wildcats got two runs off of a Casey Smith. Bases loaded single up the middle. Here's a 1-1, and that one gets away for ball two. Kelly now at 86 pitches here through three plus innings. Emerson calls time. Clev Wright, the head coach, gives out a new play for the Wildcats. Kelly, a long look at both runners. It's a 2 1. Emerson tries to lay down another bunt and fouls that one away for strike two. Here's a 2-2. This one's tapped to third. Throw over to first is in time, but it does advance both base runners. So we got one gone here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Good play by the uh, third baseman over there in Red Hayes to make the out. Now brings up Alex Beth. Befford, who struck out looking in his first to bat and walked, in the third inning before he was eventually thrown out at third base. Enfield going to play in with runners on second and third and one out. Bedford looking to make contact in the situation. First pitch, big swing and a miss for strike one. Bedford, who had a double, an RBI double and an RBI triple in his last game. Here's the 0-1. Breaking ball misses away for ball one. Pitch number 90 of the game for Kelly. No action in the Giles County bullpen right now. A 1-1. Swing, swung on a miss for strike two. And the 1-2. Just misses away for ball two. Here's a 2-2 in the dirt for ball three. And the full count offering on the outside corner for strike three, and that's a second out of the inning. Eighth strike out of the game for Carter Kelly. Now brings up. Opposing pitcher in Isaiah Bentley. Bentley has reached base twice in both of his at bats, a single in the first and a walk in the third. 
First pitch here from Kelly. Breaking ball swung on a miss for strike one. Here's the 0-1. In the dirt, another good block from Kilpatrick. Keep it at two to one and evens up the count of one ball, one strike. Here's a 1-1. One, one. This is high and away for ball two. Here's a 2-1. Benley skies this one foul, and the count evens up at two balls and two strikes. And the 2-2. Two -two. Breaking ball just misses away and another full count. It was pitch 99 of the game for Kelly. A full count offer. That's ball four and Bentley will make reach base here for the third time in the game. So we have the bases loaded. No, bases loaded two gone here in the bottom of the fourth to bring up Truett Kidd. Struck out swinging in both of, both of his at-bats, the first and third inning. That is Caden Short making his way to now courtesy run for Isaiah Bentley. So Bentley getting it done on the mound and getting it done here in the, at the plate as well with a single and a pair of walks. Kelly's now issued six walks in the game to his eight strikeouts. First pitch here to Kidd. Swung on, tipped back, and caught for strike one. Kelly going to work quickly, the 0-1. Breaking ball in the outside corner for strike two. In the 0-2. Kid gets a piece of it over the Nivens at second base. The throw over to first is in time, and that one will end the inning. Wildcats take the lead off a of Cason Smith two-run single as we go to the uh, top of the fifth as they lead it 2-1. That's coming up next on the Exports Network. Whether you're shopping in Lawrenceburg, Loretto, Summertown, or Mount Pleasant, Tegan's Food Stores has you covered with the best quality food at the best prices. From Cash Saver to Superama and CB Foods, stop by your neighborhood Tegan's Food Store today. The Hidden Garden, located just off the square in downtown Lawrenceburg, is your hometown oasis for massage, aesthetics, full hair and nail services, and body waxing. Gift certificates are available, and be sure to follow them on Facebook for their specials. The Hidden Garden, your peace, your place. 222 Pulaski Street, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, or phone 931-762-9799. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of the Summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come into our facility. We would love to see you here. This is Jason at Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg. For over 90 years, Volco has been a family-owned company. We're proud of our past and excited about our future. We're open to the public for wholesale and retail trade. We carry product lines such as Milwaukee Tools, Lucas Oil, and Malco products. We carry all major brands of lubricants like Shell Rotella, Haviland, Castrol GTX, Mystic, Motorcraft, Valvoline, Kindle, and Mobile. We here at Volco offer a complete line of car detailing supplies, shop supplies, tire repair products, and lawnmower supplies. Check us out online at volcoautosupply.com or at 416 Buffalo Road here in Lawrence. Back here at Tom Cruise Field, we go to the top of the fifth of the 
Game one of this district doubleheader, Lawrence County leading Giles County 2-1. 7-8-9 2 up for the Bobcats. Kareem Bright to lead things off against Isaiah Bentley. First pitch is fouled away for strike one. Bentley so far in the game through four innings has given up a run off three hits. Two walks, four strikeouts, now at 55 pitches. Bryant 0 for 1 in the game with a soft liner to second base for a inning-ending double play. Next pitch, a breaking ball, and this is low and in for ball one. Bryant, a very good basketball player for the Bobcats throughout the years. Here's the 1-1. One -one. He squares around the bun. That one's low and away for ball two. No action in the Giles County bullpen in this one, Carter Kelly. So now at 103 pitches through four innings. He's given up two runs off four hits, six walks, and eight strikeouts. Next pitch swung on a miss to change up for strike two. Two and two the count here to Bryant. Now we do have some action in the Bobcat bullpen. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. This one is chopped foul down the left field line. Can't tell who it is down there. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that's the first out of the inning. Fifth strikeout of the game here for Bentley. So we got one gone in the top of the fifth inning. Brings up the right fielder in Casey Howard. Struck out looking in his first at bat in the third inning. First pitch from Bentley. This is away for ball one. Here's a 1-0, and this is low and away for ball two. Two zero to Howard. This one is ripped down the left field line. Smith can't get that one. It's going to one off the wall. Howard rounding first. Here comes the throw. It will not be in time. A one-out double by Howard off the left field fence. We've got a runner in scoring position with one gone here in the top of the fifth. Second extra base hit of the game here for Giles County. Clint Wright will come out and talk with the senior pitcher. He'll bring up nine-hole hitter in Hudson Nivens. Single on the left and a run scored in his first at bat in the third inning. Quick talk there between Wright and Bentley. Trying to navigate the rest of the inning. One gone with the runner in scoring position, trying to protect a 2-1 lead here in game one of this district doubleheader. Nevin, who went down 0-2 in his previous at bat, battled back and eventually found his way on, lining a single in the left off a of full count. First pitch here from Bentley on the outside corner for strike one. Bentley now checking on Howard at second. Nobody covering. Here's the 0-1. Niven squares around the bun and does. Schultz fields it, throws over to first. A good throw in time. That's a second out of the inning. Good bump by Nivens. That advances the runner. So we've got two gone here on the top of the fifth. We go to the top of the order with Austin Kilpatrick, who's one for two in the game. Batting out, number 17, Austin Kilpatrick. Those two are one. Kilpatrick has reached base safely both times, a walk in the first, and an RBI double down the left field line the third. And now they're going to intentionally walk him. Now get to the designated hitter in Levi Moss. Number 20, Levi Moss. Moss is 0 for 2, a strikeout looking in the first, and the ground out to short in the third. 
Runners on the corners with two gone here in the top of the fifth. Big lead by Kilpatrick at first. First pitch from Bentley. This is high and in. And they're just going to allow Kilpatrick easily to go to second base. He tried to stop in between the base paths, and uh, Wildcats were just not falling for that one. I've made it work a couple times in my career. Here's the one up. Tap back and caught for strike one. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball up the middle, and that's going to get through for a base hit. Howard is in. Here comes the throw, and Kilpatrick is in, and the Bobcats retake the lead at 3-2 here on the top of the fifth. Good two-out hitting there from Moss, chopping that single up the middle, and Giles County is retaking the lead. Brings up Carter Kelly, the opposing pitcher. 0 for 1, ground out the third and the first, and a walk in the third. First pitch here from Bentley, swung on a miss for strike one. Here's the 0-1, and that one gets away. Runner advanced to second off the wild pitch. Here's the 1-1 one, one. on the inside corner for strike two. And the one, two. Off the end of the bat, and Emerson makes the play. It's short, and that one will end the inning. Giles County retakes the lead here in the top of the fifth. They lead at three to two as the Wildcats try to answer in the bottom of the fifth. Coming up next on the Exports Network. If you want the best clean and wash experience, you need to catch the happy wave at Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Don't settle for streaks, dirt residue, water spots, and weak vacuums that you can get at just any car wash. At all our locations, you will be greeted by a smiling attendant who will pre-wash your car front and back to remove any stubborn bugs and dirt before guiding you through the tunnel, where your car will be treated to the ultimate spa treatment with state-of-the-art equipment and one-of-a-kind wash experience that will give your car a showroom shine. Afterwards, you can help yourself to our free powerful vacuums, cleaning cloths, and glass and surface cleaner for the perfect finishing touch. When it comes to caring for your car, don't settle for any wash and pay for all the extras. Get the best when you catch the happy wave at your local Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Truett's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truett's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truett's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family-owned and operated business, Truett's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truett's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. Back here at Tom Cruise Fields, we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Lawrence County trailing Giles County 3-2 in game one of this district doubleheader. Austin Kilpatrick, the new pitcher, 
game here for Giles County. First pitch here to Gobble, swung on a miss for strike one. Comes in for Carter Kelly's now at first base. Maddox Good is now at third base. Next pitch, tap down the right field line and Kelly will make the play, step on first and that will be the first out of the inning. One gone here in the bottom of the fifth. Brings up Gavin Glass. Had a good game so far here for Lawrence County. Two for two, infield single in the second and the single in the right field in the fourth. Kelly threw, went four innings, giving up two runs off four hits, six walks, eight strikeouts, and finished at 103 pitches. Wim whipping out to left again. Kilpatrick, a long look at the signs. There's the first pitch. And Glass goes around for strike one. The 0 1, that one misses away for, stroke, for ball one. Here's a 1 1, that one is over Glass's head for ball two. Here's a 2 1. This one sent up the middle. Turner, that one goes off of his chest. Will be no play at first. And Glass reaches base for the third time in the game, this time via error, second error of the game for Giles County. Brings up Cole Schultz, 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And now Clint Wright making his way out to talk with the one of the field umpires. Wright's conversation with the field umpire was quick as Cole Schultz comes up 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts, but reach base off of a wild pitch off of his last strikeout. First pitch, swung on a miss for strike one. One on one out here in the bottom of the fifth, the 3 2 Giles County lead. Here's the 0 1. This one is sent in to left field. Nivens in left now. And that one got over his head. He just struggled with it, got over his head. And now we got two on with one out. Hey, just get the ball up in the jet stream and see what happens. And Schultz picks up the single. Or maybe not. I'm not sure here. I guess they are going to call that a single. Not telling the guys to go back, so brings up Cutler Cope here. He's walked them both of his at bats. Two good battles. And Schultz got that one up in the jet stream and a struggle there for Nivens and left. Nivens who's now in left. You got Red Hayes now at second base. First pitch to Cope here on the outside corner for strike one. The 0-1. This one going into left. Turner makes the catch, and that will be the second out of the inning. Good job by Turner going back on that one to make the catch. And we got two gone here in the bottom of the fifth. Brings up Kaysen Smith, one for two, strike out in the first, and then that two-run single up the middle in the fourth, trying to make his magic happen once again. First pitch from Kilpatrick, swung on for strike one. Next pitch, that one's in the dirt. They try to throw out the runner at third. That one gets away, but everyone will stay put after that one. Off that wild pit, or off that uh, steal attempt, I should say. And 
Now both runners here in scoring position once again for Case and Smith. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And the dirt, a good block there. Count goes to two balls and one strike. Time called here by Case and Smith. Top of the order, Jack Emerson due up after Smith. Smith can find a way on to extend the inning. Here's a 2-1. This is high for ball three. The 3-1. Swung on and miss, and the count goes full with three balls and two strikes. Full count offering on the outside corner for strike three, and that one will end the inning. Wildcats strand a pair of runners in the bottom of the fifth. Giles County leads it three to two as we go to the top of the six. That's next on the Exports Network. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. LUS is committed to our customers, from providing and maintaining energy efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability, while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. A moment in real estate with my dad, Jeff Lee. You know, I get asked a lot about what the market's going to do, how's the real estate market. I've been selling real estate for a long time. And nobody has a crystal ball. And you know what? When it's your time to buy or your time to sell, it really doesn't matter what the market's doing. It's your time, and you have to do something maybe. What makes a difference is the agents and the experience that go to work for you. We're Keller Williams Hood Company, located here in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We can help. Hood Company, powered by Keller Williams, the number one name in real estate. This is the X Sports Network. Go to the top of the six here. Giles County leading Lawrence County three to two in game one of this district doubleheader. Red Hayes will lead things off, takes a first pitch ball from Isaiah Bindley. Bindley threw five innings, three runs off five hits, three walks, five strikeouts. Now it's 73 pitches. Next pitch on the outside corner for strike one. Two of his three walks have been intentional walks. Here's a 1-1. One, one. This is high and in for ball two. Here's a 2-1. That one hits the bat. That one hits the bat, and that's going to even up the count accidentally at two balls and two strikes. It's easier said than done when someone says to get the bat down when you see that ball screaming at your face. It's easier said than done in that situation. Here's a 2-2. Breaking ball misses away for ball three. Full count here to Hayes. No action in the Lawrence County bullpen. A full count offer. Swung on and missed for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. One gone here in the top of the six. Six strikeout of the game for Benley. Brings up Kamari Turner, the shortstop. 0 for 2. Ground out the third and the second. And the fly out the left on a pretty hard hit ball in the fourth. First pitch here to Turner. Misses away for ball one. Comes a one up. 
This is high for ball two. Here's a two up. This is high over his head for ball three. Three and oh to count here to Turner. That one's in there for strike one. Next pitch. That one misses low and in for ball four. With the walk issued by Bentley, second official walk, two intentional. Brings up Maddox Good, and the now third baseman, oh for one for two, single in the right in the second, strikeout looking in the fourth. Bentley now at 83 pitches here through five and a third. First pitch, check swing, and he goes around for strike one. Check on Turner. First throw is not in time. Here's the 0 1. Turner takes off. This one's sent in the air. Emerson going back on it. Makes the catch. Has a chance to get Turner at first. And they got him for the double play. Another pop-up double play here for Lawrence County, and that one will end the inning. It's a 3-2 to two Giles County lead as we go to the bottom of the six here on the X Sports Network. Efficiency. Reliability. Accuracy. Trust title and escrow of Lawrence County to provide exceptional title insurance services. Offering a wide range of title services across Tennessee, our team is unmatched. In fact, we're the most experienced closing team around. We get the job done on time, at a fair price, and ensure every last detail is correct. Our goal is to give you peace of mind. When you work with us, you work with people who live where you do. We understand the importance of the real estate community and strive to build strong relationships with all parties involved in the process. Whether you're buying a home, selling a business, acquiring land, or anything in between, you're in good hands with title and escrow of Lawrence County. Put the most experienced closing team on your side. Contact title and escrow of Lawrence County today. is the X Sports Network. So back here at Tom Cruise Field, we are currently under a weather advisory. We have a cluster of storms uh, coming our way right now. Uh, taking a look at the radar, so both teams will head the shelter along with us as well. And when this game resumes, we'll be right here on the X Sports Network. This is the 